here. Today we will be making a bracelet that looks very, very, very similar to the Alex and Ari bracelets. This was the last one I made if you wanted to see the comparison. This one and that one. They look very alike. Okay, so what we will be doing, what we will be using is v-neck pliers, some some beading pliers, some wire cutters, and hemp cord, and hemp wire. Okay, so you will also be needing one big charm. My big charm is going to be follow your heart and two small charms. One of my small charms will be Hope, and the second one is going to be just a burst of color, and for that color I'm going to choose white, if I can get it out, okay, we're going to be using white, okay, so we will first get the hemp cord out. We will be hemp wire. Sorry, I keep on mixing those up. It's exact. It's just like a slinky. So, for it to be a slinky, it's very good because when it's like slinky, it can sling back like the real accent anti bracelets. So, what we're gonna be doing is, you see how it loops around, and then when the second time it loops around, so it's gonna be. It ends right here, so I'm going to be doing it right across from there, over here. So we're going to take our wire cutters, place them in the spot where we're going to cut. We're going to put a lot of force so that it cuts. Make sure that your wire doesn't get, your front wire doesn't get in between it. I'm going to just sort of cut them out. Okay, so we did that. This is what it looks like when it's done. So we're gonna take, I like to bend it so that I can make the loop on the Alex and Ellie bracelet so I can go back. So we are gonna take the beading pliers, place the end of the wire in the middle. We're gonna put our thumb and our pointer finger on each side. The thumb will be on top of the wire in the Pointer finger is on the side to help guide your wire so that it doesn't mess up. We're just going to go around in a circle. You may need to go around twice in this project. Okay? So mine came out like that. There's a little bit, a little thing sticking out. If you have that, you can just take your wire cutters, cut that off. To do this project, Okay, so make sure, okay, so mine's is just a little bit messed up, that's okay. You can take your v-neck, your v-neck um, pliers, grab edge, just a little bit should be sticking out from the slanted part. You do the same thing that you were doing, one, the, thumb on one, the thumb on the wire, and then the pointer finger on the other side to help support. What we will be doing is making a pointed edge that goes straight up and down. Okay, so what we Okay, so after you have done that, you take the edge that you didn't do. Yet, yeah, you will be putting on your big charm first. One of your little charms. If you're using a burst stone charm like me, be careful on which way you put it because you may mess it. It may go around the wrong way. But luckily mine's went the right way this time. And you will be putting on your second small charm. Move your two small charms away from the big charm. So big charm has to be on bottom and it's by itself. 
and then the small charms are just on the side. So we will be making sure I'm just going to move these to the side. We will be taking this part right here and we will be putting it inside of the loop that we've already made. And the, f and the big charm should be inside of there. So now what we're going to do is take our, take our pliers, our beading pliers, place it in the middle to make another loop. Again, you may need to do this two times and you use your thumb and your pointer finger for support. For this one, you will not do it all the way. You will not put it in a circular position all the way. You will be putting, okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna move the loop so that's a right angle. You're gonna put, okay, so I left a little part in here that you guys should leave too that's open. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just put the wire in front and inside. So to close it up, you take your V-neck wires, put it on the, you put it on the edges, and you just squish it, but don't squish it too much because that might mess up your circle and make it small. So the smaller that you do it, I mean the more that you put it at, the smaller it goes. You may need to fix it with the v-neck wire, the v-neck pliers to go straight up to be a um, right angle again. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. So you take, to make it bigger or smaller and adjustable, you take this one, and that one, and you just take your fingers and you squish it together, and it's bigger. And it just goes, it just releases. You're done with it. This is what it looks like when it's on your hand. Okay? Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to me on down below. And if you wanted, and can you please also... Give me some ideas, some new ideas, to make some arts and crafts stuff for you. And keep in mind that this was my first video on YouTube. And if I ever do another one, I will try to keep it nice. Thank you for